mad. It is you that is mad. I said it is you that is mad. I wanted to beat up Chichi. You came and took the fight, eh? Is that not? How was it your business? How? What the hell are you talking about? Give me some eye that I like it. You see this eye that I can see with? I don't like it at all. You either break this second eye or I'll break one of yours. <laughs> it's very obvious something is not right with you. It's very, very obvious. I cannot provoke you. You hear me? Do not get on my nerves. Mm. Mm. What? Uh, yeah. Did you just slap me? Slap me! Good afternoon. What are you doing here? How do you mean what am I doing here? You are only married yesterday. And you are coming back here today again. Huh? What will people say about that? Um, they say go and bring my clothes for me. Be fast. Huh? It's not like I do not want you to. But I do not like you to take this place as your second home. Papa is my second home. Papa is my second home. Because if I say I want to enter inside the house, you cannot tell me not to enter. Ah. Just yeah, hurry up now. I want to take those clothes to the palace. I know I'm going to the farm. Farm? Papa, let me have rest of mine. Hey. Let me have rest of mine now. Papa, I just came. Yeah. I just came. Now you're coming to the farm, oh. How can you say that? How can you say that? When you know the circumstance surrounding my marriage.
So you know when you invite us to the wedding? Did I even invite myself? I only found myself. See what this piece has done to you. Are you sure you can see with this eye? I can see slightly. But not to worry. By the time I am done with that prince, you will never ever get it at me. You, 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 ha, 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 have to, 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 to stop coming to the, to the, to the, to the famo, eh? We, 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 we are your friend, ha, ha, who, clear, yo, 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 Let's go now. Let's go. If you don't like them, I could change them for you. Where exactly did you get them from? I got it from a lady that deals on beads and gold. These are cheap. I can't wear them. But I told you earlier on that if you don't like them, I could change them for you. That is not the issue. So? The issue is that you go to cheap places to buy me beads and you're... Sp isn't, this what my man, isn't this what my man wears? You expect me to say thank you. I'm sorry, I don't like them. Princess Chica. You're trying to say I, Prince Afam, go to cheap places to buy you beads? I mean, aren't they cheap? You expect me, Princess Chica, to put on these things? Stop looking at me like that. Can't I express myself? Absolutely not. Princess Chica. This will be the last time. I'll waste my precious time to get you any gift. Not even a bead. Whoa. You know what? Um, I got to see you to the gate. Obim! So tell me, how did you react? Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. I was in my neck. Oh my God, what's that guy going to marry you with? He's a papa now. That's not the issue. This guy is so nice. He has a strong build. Do what I call build. Body. <laughs> so as you were saying, Joe, so you mean at that distance you could still perceive it? What if you came close? I'll just figure. <laughs> don't mind this girl, don't mind this girl, forget her. Don't mind her. to see my wife. Your wife? Yes, okay. The one where my heart belongs. Hmm? Now, would you clear out of the way for me? No 
Okay. Kenna, I'm not stopping you. I am glad you're not stopping me. I'm listening. Afam, don't use that tone with me. I told you something very major took place here in the palace and I had to be around so my absence won't be felt. And not even a word from you. Oh, please, don't get very bossy with me. I just explained something to you or haven't I been making sense? Chica, when last did he visit me at my kingdom? When? Does it matter who visits who? I mean, what matters is that we see ourselves. Chica, I've had enough with this your high-handedness kind of life. Don't you bother. Come looking for me. Afam! Afam, you're walking up on me! Mother, can you believe I've walked out on me? And what did you tell him? What can I possibly tell an Afam to warrant him walking out on me? I mean, what can't I tell him? I don't have any idea. But the daughter I gave birth to, I knew very well. And I know the wonderful work of her mouth. You walked out on me in front of my maids. And this is what you're saying, right? <laughs> I will never call him again. I will never call him again. 
You go to hell for all I care. Suit yourself, my princess. Making in this palace. They ended up with a one eyed wife. You know the. Be or whatever you call yourself. If my brother wants to marry you, then wait until he pays the right price before you start flaunting yourself in this palace. Chica. Are you. Are you mad? Stop it! I will not tolerate this nonsense from any of you. Chica, who is making you judge over Ikena's life and relationship? Be warned. Chica, be warned. Mom, Kenna is wrong. This is absolutely disrespectful. <laughs> Someone's got to lose a tooth now. It's okay, it's okay, please. I really do not want to cause any more commotions. So I think I'll, I'll just take my money. Hey, wait, where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Let's go inside. I said, let's go inside. Let's go inside. You're telling me what was what's wrong with you. Lisa, you're very stupid. I can't believe I gave back to you. You are a fool. Don't leave me alone. Leave me alone. Rugen! Rugen! Come back here, I said. I saw an antelope at the back of the house and I was told that you brought it for me. Hmm? Yes, yes. You bought it. It must have cost quite a lot. No, I didn't buy it. I went hunting earlier today and I caught the antelope. You what? And you caught an antelope? Yes, it I brought the antelope to you to show my appreciation for everything you've done for me towards the treatment of my eyes and to tell you that the plaster was removed yesterday. Yes, I can see. Can you see very well with it? Yes, but not clearly. The doctor said if I continue to use the eye drop, it will heal me time. That's good. Thank you, Igwe. I should take my leave now. No, really. Sit down. See, I've done my research about you. And I've been told everything 
I want to know. I want you to know that you are a woman, you are not a man. I also want you to know that I am capable of taking care of you. So you do not have to hunt or farm to take care of your father. I have assumed full responsibility for the welfare of your father. Okay? If you choose as a form of hobby to farm and to hunt, that is for your pleasure. That's okay. Okay? Thank you very much, Your Majesty. All right. Really grateful. Thank you. It's all right. Thank you, my daughter. No, this way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As we all know, the 40th anniversary of Igwe and Lolo will be coming up in a few days' time. And as women in the family, we need to buy them up befitting gifts. So we'll be contributing 20,000 Naira each to that event. Where do you expect me to get that kind of money? <laughs> don't you have a husband? I don't have a husband. Hence, I cannot afford it. Mm. Yes. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by you, I'll be collecting the money in two days' time. This meeting is over. Princess, what is bothering you? Why did you just call me? Princess, I mean, what did Emma say? You mean all along you were not listening to what Amara was saying? Well. She wants us to contribute 20,000 Naira each to buy His Royal Majesty a befitting gift for the wedding anniversary. What? Where does she expect you to get that kind of money from? Don't worry about me. Now tell me, what bothers you? It's Afam, my husband to be. We had a misunderstanding. You know, he walked out of me. And ever since, I've never heard from him. What did you do? What did I do? What can't I do? Talk rudely to him. Make him feel he's not loved. Raise your voice at him. See who's talking. Engaging your husband in a physical combat in front of everyone. What do you call that? <laughs> you won't understand. Now, I won't talk further if you will not take my advice and try it. I'm listening. Tell me all about him. I mean everything there is to know. And give me details of your last meeting with him. I don't like him. It's good looking. Tobem, don't you have any feminine clothes? Chica, I've tried on everything I have and yet you're complaining. I love to look masculine. These are my favorite. Besides, I mustn't go with you. You love to look masculine. <laughs> to be I want you to come with me, eh? but you can't wear these rags. Don't call my clothes rags. They are rags. They are my favorite. I warn you. I warn you. Rags. Come on, just go and do as I say. It's gonna work, trust me. What do you think it works? I'm so scared, I don't know. 
my two best friends are boys and they have girlfriends. I know everything about the tricks they play. I'm so sure, I swear to you, it will work. How do I look beautiful? Ouch! Be good. Thank you. It's a lot, trust me. Have fun. You haven't come to see me in my kingdom. What is it? Chica. I told you the other day that whatever existed between the two of us ended that day. Didn't I tell you? Don't you love me anymore? No. Chica, I am sick and tired of your nonsense and disrespect. <laughs> no, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to disrespect you. Um, Okay, I promise. I, I promise not to disrespect you anymore. I promise to respect you. Please, do you promise you? Please. Please. Are you sure? Yes, please. I promise. Yeah, I promise. But you know what you did that it was wrong? I'm sorry. You should get angry. <laughs> Thank you. I miss you. So where's the phone? Yeah, put it down there. Here, yeah, baby, I want you to put this on on our outing tomorrow evening. Okay? I chose it personally, and I know you're going to like it. Thank you. Also, Mom had um, those lovely beats for you. Yeah. Those beats are so Yeah. And um, yeah, this, these beats are made from elephant balls. <laughs> Thank you. No, honestly, they're that small. You think I'm lying? This clothes we made ready for you. Henceforth, this is what you wear in this palace. For me? Yes. This is nice. Do you like them? No, I can't accept them. Why? Because I feel like you're trying to pay me back for what I did. How can you say that? Our farm will be attending my parents' anniversary, and I want you to wear this clothes looking good. I still can't accept them. First, I've not been invited to the anniversary party. Second, if I can't meet him like this, then there's no need to meet him. For God's sake, you're an awaker. Who needs to invite you? <laughs> you can't refuse my clothes. You can't refuse my gifts. Please, do not make this into a habit. Okay? Please. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you're hitting me. Sorry. Take it, you like it. Mm -hmm. Try it. And thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. They don't have colors. They don't have colors.
Woman, can you not see that I am watching TV? Would you clear out of that place? Heaven knows that you're looking for my trouble, but I will not fall into your trap, my dear. Ikena, is it me you're talking to like that? Oh, no. Ah, I cannot talk to you like that, madam. Ah, you're the almighty. Heaven also knows that I have nothing to lose. You and I will be banished, just as I wish. I know that is what you wish for. Because you're a very wicked woman. Evil thing. Eh. Okay. Come down from the bed to where you belong. I don't want you to sleep on the bed. This again. I said, come to your position. This is where you belong. In my own house. Dubem, you lie. I'll shout, though. I'll shout. What's the matter with you now? Must you shout? Why are you so evil? I broke my nose! Jesus Christ! Take it easy now. Okay, I'm sorry. 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 Huh? Don't shout again. Now. I should go to the ground. Yes. Okay, now that's all you will say now. Go to the ground. I'll go to the ground. My nose! Cannot undress in front of me. You're shy? Look, woman, I am your husband. You should learn to be comfortable. <laughs> You're smiling. Yes, I am smiling. I've never seen you smile before. Yeah, because you're making me smile. <laughs> um, I'm sorry about all our fights. I'm sorry about your life.
You know something? I love this dress. Yeah, I don't want you to take it off. I want you to wear it all night. I'm not comfortable with it. Don't worry. You'll learn. With time. Get used to it. And one more thing. One more fight. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Only if you promise not to beat up anyone and never to hit a woman. Not to hit a woman, I can promise. Not to beat up anyone yet. Not too sure. <laughs> Come here. Oh. You're not comfortable with the shoes. You can take it off. I think I want to rest in the shoes. Amara. What will you do? Mm. Wait, okay now. I'm not going to fight a woman, are you? Let's go. Your father had another attack last night. How is he? Is he fine? Is he okay? Yes. He recuperated this morning. But the doctor says he needs rest. Oh. <sighs> hey! 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 I don't want anything to happen to Igwe! Grandma, the mother says he's fine, so stop crying. You stop for goodness sake, Samara! He's not dead, he's fine! Oh, you know, why are you losing your voice at my wife? Oh. I don't like the way you talk to her. Well then tell your suck of a wife to stop this a mediocre thing. What? You call my wife suck? You cannot. I've had a lot of this nonsense. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I will no longer tolerate this nonsense from any of you anymore. Ikina, you have to apologize to your brother. You haven't spoken well. You shouldn't have spoken to his wife in that manner. Please, apologize to your brother.
Chinedu. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for insulting you. And I'm sorry for insulting your wife. So, mother, when um, when do we get to see the Igwe? Right tomorrow. with all these bruises. How did your meeting go? My meeting? Mm hmm I don't understand. <laughs> Should have been, sit down. I saw the footprint you left on Amara's face. The same one I saw on that woman that was running away from us on our way to the farm. So you knew why she was running and you were asking me. <laughs> Besides, I have to tell you this. She came to my territory to confront me. She came here. Dubim, Dubim. The fighter. The warrior. <laughs> I thought we agreed, no more fighting, didn't we? Yes. Mm. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Why are you smiling? Halfway. Come in. What? That's what I've been going through. Stop crying. I've sent for him. Okay. One, two. Is that for me? I was meant to understand you promising a marriage, and now you are avoiding me. Why? Mm. 
Kim, how are you? I'm that I've been avoiding you, I know that. But that's because... I don't know how to tell you this. I just couldn't face you. I can't marry you, Kim. Otherwise, I'm gone. There's, there's no way you're ever going to be happy with me. Baby, I'm not complaining. I love you just the way you are. I know. Or you deserve better. Okay. Look, you deserve better than being beaten by a man. Besides, Kim, I've I've fallen in love with a woman so strongly that I I don't want to hurt her by taking a second wife. Look, you deserve than being a second wife too. You know that, right? Look. My father never did it, and I don't want to do it either. I'm sorry, Kim. Kim, look, forgive me, please. Father, I heard that you're not feeling too well. Are you okay now? Are you better now? My dear, I am feeling very fine. Can't you see? I'm favored by the gods. Is this my daughter, Dube? Yes, Papa. Yes. Yeah. You're welcome. Summoned all of you here today because I feel that the journey to the abode of my ancestors is approaching. Fear, God forbid. Whichever way it is, I think it's time that you all know the truth. A long time ago, a child was abandoned in a basket by the river. My wife, the queen, visited that river and discovered the child 
and brought the child home. I adopted that child and made him my son. Father, please, please. Even even though I'm not your son, you you don't have to say it out. I I don't think I can bear the agony of knowing that I am not part of this wonderful family and that you are not my biological father. For 20 years, I've loved both of you equally. But now, I have to let everyone know that my first biological son was Ikenna here. What? Yes. Mother told me when I was 18 years old. You mean you're not part of us? Of course he's part of us. You will always be part of us. You will always be my brother. Wait, 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 wait. Father, are you... Are you saying that if you pass on, that I, Ikena, become the ego of this kingdom? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no I, mean, I mean, I mean, no. I'm not prepared. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ready. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think I can even handle it. I have a business to run, but I do not even have the wisdom to run the kingdom. Tinidu he, here is the one that can, that has that kind of wisdom. He's my elder brother. I've always looked up to him, and I see him as the king. Not me, Dad. You knew about all this all this while, and you never told me. You can. I wasn't in the right position to tell you. Don't worry yourself about me. I'll continue to do my business. Hmm? Mm, you never liked this village. Well, you're the one who's going to stay in it. Mm. I thank God for this day. I thank God for giving me the wisdom to handle the situation. I thank God for the wife that my son he couldn't have found. He's a very strong woman. I love her. Father, please. You can't leave. I still have so much to learn. I am not going to die. You know, I've always told you what you need. My princess, you are also a queen. Your wedding is in a week. Don't forget, you are betrothed to the heir apparent of Amaka Kingdom. I know, but yours is different. Come on, I'm <laughs> Thank you. And what is Her Royal Majesty doing with my youngest sister? Where have you been? Shinado's wing. <laughs> oh, mm. I will um, excuse you both. Sure. So, what do we have here? Look at me. I'm looking. <laughs> I mean, who would have ever thought that I, Chidubem, daughter of Mazi Mika, would be queen and still be with the one she loves? <laughs> I can see. It's already getting into someone's head. Of course it is, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to hurt my feelings. Apparently, it's your trumpet. I you blow it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Let's go inside.
my daughters, have called you all here because I'm really a happy woman. There's nothing more a mother would wish than to have serenity in the family. These past few months have experienced maximum peace. And I want to thank all of you for that. Mother, you deserve nothing less than the best. I mean, you're living an exemplary life and I really am happy, okay? You deserve nothing less. I hope by the way I have lived my life, have been able to show to all of you that being a queen doesn't need pride and arrogance. Pride is the full stool to the downfall of a man. As queen, it is your duty as a woman to install humility. And most so, give support and love to your husband on the throne. That is all he needs from you to succeed. Thank you so much, Queen Mother. I promise I'll do exactly as you've said. You're welcome. Um, um, this is a token from Ibu and I to all of you. Oh, Mother, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Chica, when will we be going back to your kingdom? Are you chasing me already? Ah, no, I can't do that. Okay, I want to see the room first. I'll go later in the day. Will they call that big girl's gossip or queen's gossip? Oh, mother, queen's gossip. <laughs> queen's gossip, mother. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> All right, ladies, time up. Mom, you're going to have to continue this meeting some other time, okay? In the meantime, my stomach is calling, and you all are wanted at the dining table this second. Get up, get up, let's go. All right, let's go. Not you. You are no longer part of this family. Go back to your husband. Mom, did you hear that? Yes, I said it. I said it. Um, where is my husband? Oh, he's already at the dining. Let's not keep the gentleman waiting. Come on, ladies, let's go. Mama. <laughs> As you can see, I'm already done. Um, my love, you are going on a long journey. You should at least have breakfast. I do not want breakfast, especially this early. My love. I have a long way to go. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Your Highness. Amara, how are you? How was your night? Thank you. Great. Good morning. 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 Good Have your own children and stop asking about other people's children. It's high time you give birth to a child. Amara, I don't like the way you talk to Queen Duben. How did I speak to her mother? How? I heard what you said. If it had been during my time, I would not only punish you, but had you return back to your parents. She cannot do anything to me. It's only the ego that can punish me in this palace. And besides, very, very soon. Very soon, you will stop buying the favor of the Igwe. Yes, that. Please come back. Come and sit down. Where were you going to? I'm going to the farm to see my old friends and, and breathe fresh air. I can say I have not been observing your relationship with the king. All is not well. All is well, mother. 
did you lie to me? When have I stopped being your mother? And why did you stop talking to me? But that all is well. Nothing out of the ordinary is happening in my marriage. Hence, nothing to talk about. To them, your husband is the king. People would gossip to him to gain one favor or the other. But one thing I don't want is you being the center of the gossip. What have I done, mother? Going out, especially when your husband is out of town, it raises eyebrows. I know you're going to the farm. Yes, I trust you. But whoever says you're going to the farm alone will not want to believe it. To them. And when he cannot start hearing these rumors, things will change for the worse. Please stay out of trouble. Just stay in the palace. When he returns from his trip, he asks of his permission and you can go where you want to go. Please. You're right. You're right, Mother. I never thought of it this way. I'll do exactly as you have said. I beg to leave now. Mother, you see the land belongs to Ameke, but the Okujos are laying claim to it. Now the treaty we went for, I made it abundantly clear to them that we are not settling for less. Uh, yes, I made it very... Ah, look who we have here. Ah, the Queen herself, the Queen of Amanze Kingdom. You're welcome. She's in the... Oh, there she is. God! She, you are pregnant? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you promised to visit me in my kingdom and you did not. But you're here now. My God! Come mother! <laughs> Excuse me, mother. Excuse me, mother. Oh, I'm really happy to see you. I haven't seen you all. Yeah. What? You're not looking too happy. Chica, how can I be happy? It's been six years my husband was crowned king, and I'm yet to give him a child. Look at me. Chica, please. Pray for me. Since you're pregnant, maybe the prayers of you and your unborn child can make me pregnant. Please. What is going on there? Mother, the babe doesn't look happy. What is it? Are you asking me? Do I know whether she has a problem or not? Does she talk to me? Does she even trust me? The babe, my mother has been a mother to you. Why don't you talk to her? Amara makes mockery of me at every given opportunity. Most times in the presence of mother, she says or does nothing about it. I just, I feel like they're together. God forbid. God forbid I pull down my household myself. The fact I don't scold Amara in your presence does not mean I don't talk to her. Do you know the kind of a girl she is? Wait, wait. Amara has the gods to mock the queen of this land. What have you been doing with your position? Does she even know that she can leave this palace with one word from you? She should be grateful I have left this palace. She should be grateful. She can't even try that with me. She can't try it. And that is what I am trying to avoid. I don't want you to come in here and start up a fight. I will handle it myself. Chica! Ah, Chica, so you came to Iwe, Iwe Cat's compound and you refused to say hello to me? Eh? I had to pay homage to the queen by greeting her first. Eh, the queen, Abby? 
I see. Amara, you've been giving her problems and that is not nice. Was that what she told you? Huh? Was that what she told you? To dare raise your voice at me. Dubem is not just a wife in this palace. She is the queen, for God's sake. You shouldn't talk to her like that. You should not disrespect her. My foot. I don't blame you. Your Highness. What? It's lunchtime. The table is served. She's still, well, I don't, she's the one I blame. You, you, you can talk to, to her the way you like. Are you the one serving lunch today? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, ma'am.